Hey there guys, thank you for tuning in. I just want to tell you that these are my opinions and my opinions only. I haven't watched anyone else's reactions videos yet. Um, I've watched the trailer a couple times just so I got in my head what I want to say. And anything that I do say, you are completely entitled to disagree. Uh, but before you go commenting anything, especially if it's going to be a bit harsh towards me or anything, just watch the whole video just in case like I already uh, counter-argue what you're about to type. And if I don't and you still disagree, then go ahead, do comment what you like. Also, you can comment any questions you have for me about the movie. I'm going to try my damn hardest to read every single comment. And if it's um, a good question and it's related to the movie, I will reply. Um, so yes, about the movie. Oh god, right. So that came out today, and uh, I'm going to speak about Sonic himself, um, Jim Carrey, um, which is Doctor Robotnik, and I'm going to talk about what I think the story is about. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room: Sonic the Hedgehog's design. When he first enters the room, I guess he's in this spinning form, which is quite cool and classic. I, I like the look of that. And then you get to see his arms and hands, which I wasn't so sure about. And then we get to see the backside of him, which made me cringe. It's, it's still, he's still in his human form kind of thing. And his red sneakers just does not look good compared to the rest of him. And then we finally get to see a proper look on his face with a kind of eerie smirk. It creeps me out, actually. I did not like the look of that. And then he boosts off and causes havoc, I guess. You then eventually get to see him again with a police officer, like, shooting him with a um, dart to put him to sleep, I guess. Which, his face actually looks okay. It's definitely not the best and it's not what I was hoping for. But, as I said before on a couple of my tweets, is that I really didn't like the look of the design of Sonic. But with him being still, it's kind of hard to tell the expressions. And now that we get to see it moving, it's, it's, all, it's all right. When he's standing up and you get to see him like front side and especially back side, I'm not 100% sure on him. When he sat down like in the car, it, it, it looks cute, I guess, but it's still not my cup of tea. This is not the Sonic that I wanted, but I was expecting because we've already had a few teasers of him. As for his personality, it's hard to tell from a trailer, let's be honest. Um, I have to wait for the full movie. It's, it's not Sonic. It does not feel like Sonic, you know, when he goes meow. Then in Sonic X, he completely hates being referred to as a cat. Then again, this is Paramount's idea, not Sega's or Sonic Team's or ours. I don't really like the look of Sonic, to be honest, but that was to be expected. He hasn't changed. As for Jim Carrey as Robotnik, we first see him and he's, he doesn't look like Robotnik at all. He's like kind of in a black suit, I want to say. Um, and it appears that he's working for the government. Nothing about him shows that this is Dr. Robotnik. I mean, if I hadn't been told that Jim Carrey was going to play as Dr. Robotnik and I actually saw this trailer, I would actually be wondering, who is he? Maybe he's, maybe he's Dr. Kinterbor at this point? I'm not really familiar with the comics, especially um, the American comics, as I think in the UK we had it differently. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that backstory, so I'm not going to go into it or express my opinion on that. Maybe he's not Dr. Robotnik yet. He actually doesn't know who Sonic is yet, and he starts going mad trying to capture him, because right at the end of the trailer, you then see his actual Dr. Robotnik design, which is probably the best bit of the trailer, actually. I really like the look of him there. That is Dr. Robotnik, and Jim Carrey kind of actually pulls it off. I want to see more of that, but it looks like that we're not going to get that for at least half of the film. Uh, as for his acting, uh, before he's Dr. Robotnik, it's just Jim Carrey, isn't it? I mean, that's not so much of a problem, but nothing screams Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman, or whatever you want to call him. Nothing screams that he's a scientist except from this. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Then he's got uh, his machines and such, uh, which I'm guessing he's getting money from the government on that, and then we didn't really get to see much of him as Dr. Robotnik. As for the story, like I kind of already mentioned, uh, Sonic came out of nowhere, we don't know where from yet, but he's causing havoc by going so fast, everyone needs to find out who he is, they call on the best, which is... Dr. Robotnik, we're just going to call him that so I don't know what his real name is in this part of the story. Uh, he's the best out there, he's the only one that's going to be able to capture Sonic, and I assume that he's struggling because right at the end he changes into Dr. Robotnik, and that's how he is formed. 
well, there's not really much to go on by. A police officer finds him. I guess they become friends because they're in the car later on that point. And he takes on Sonic's side where it, it seems like the government and everyone else is against Sonic. As for the comedy, it, you know, um, again, it's just, it's nothing that we're used to. Except from your typical film. It, it's trying to be funny where it doesn't need to be. Uh, like, what the heavens is this bag scene with the lift right at the end? Admittedly, it made me chuckle. I mean, when they said, oh, it was someone else's child, that did make me laugh. But at the same time, what kind of relation has this got to do with the comedy that we're used to in Sonic games? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's com a complete different contrast. Also, he gets shot by a tranquilizer gun, which Sonic was not able to outrun. Yeah, there's a scene with loads of missiles, I guess, and he's... I'm guessing he's meant to be going so fast that he pours time. And why is Sonic bloody electrified? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand that one. And no sign of Tails or Knuckles either. They're completely both absent from the trailer. Doesn't mean that they're not going to be in the film, but it's just a shame we didn't get a sneak peek of them if they are actually there. Yeah, that's pretty much my uh, thoughts on the film. Um, there probably is more that I can say about it, but I don't want to make this video go on for too long. And like I said, I want the opportunity to answer your questions in the comments. Um, I know one of them that you're going to be asking, though, is um, am I going to be seeing this movie? Well, I can say that I've got a Cineworld voucher that I've had since Christmas and I still haven't used it yet. I might as well wait until then and use it for that. My wife actually wants to go and see it, funnily enough. She goes, it looks all right. <laughs> I guess. Um, and I just want to express that. I, kn I know before a lot of people start hating me for what I've just said. Because, as you can tell, I'm not too keen on it. It's not the worst. Uh, you know, I, I, I was actually expecting it to be a little tiny bit worse from all the uh, spoilers that we've been given so far. But it's certainly not the best. It is certainly not how I hoped it turned out to be. Nothing like that. This is just my opinion of the trailer, not of the movie. I can't diss the movie yet because I haven't seen it. We don't know what it's like, so I can't diss the film yet. But at the same time, the trailers are meant to make you look forward to the film. It's meant to make you go, oh, I want to go see that. I'm going to save up my money. Save my money, it's only a tenner. But I'm going to go and save up and go see that film the day it comes out. And that does just doesn't do it for me. Uh, leave your questions in the comments section and I'll try my very best to answer it. And that's my thoughts on the trailer. Thank you ever so much for watching. And here's all my sponsors because I'm not doing a proper video. Um, so I'm just literally running the name by real quick. <laughs> and uh, thank you ever so much for watching this guys. And I'll see you real soon. Take care. Goodbye.